Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to continue our series on the lives of the saints. And on this, the 9th of July, we celebrate the memory of our venerable fathers, Dionysius the Rhetorician and Metrophanes of little St. Anne Skeet. St. Dionysius, being devoted to in his youth to the study of the Holy Scriptures and in other areas of learning, had acquired a vast knowledge that earned him the name the Rhetorician. But remaining unsatisfied by this external learning, he sought to make progress in divine philosophy and renouncing the world became a monk in Constantinople in what remained of the community of the Studion. After some time, eager to lead a more solitary life, he withdrew to Mount Athos, to the Kilion dedicated to the Holy Trinity near Kyries. But even there, it was not possible to taste the honey of Hesychasm, as his fame spread quickly and many pilgrims and monks came to him for confession and to receive spiritual counsel. That is why he went to the Skeet of St. Anne, called the Skeet of the Lavra, where several ascetics lived in great austerity, accompanied by his disciple Metrophanes. St. Dionysius installed his spiritual training ground in a cave a short distance from the Skeet, a place that later received the name Little St. Anne's. They were able to persevere in silence at their leisure, progressing day by day from glory to glory through the unceasing prayer. They thus became chosen vessels of divine grace and tasted the first fruits of eternal life. At the request of the local people, St. Metrophanes, who had been ordained a priest, left the holy mountain and traveled through the villages to confess the Christians and exhort them to keep God's commandments. After his return to their hermitage, St. Dionysius peacefully gave his soul into God's hands on the 9th of July, 1606. To the rejoice in the vision of his face together with all the saints, and St. Metrophanes was not long in joining him. The place where their relics lie is, however, unknown by the prayers and supplications of our holy venerable fathers Dionysius the rhetorician and Metrophanes of Little Anski. May the Lord God have mercy on us and save us. God bless you. We're here for you. We love you dearly. Don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, leave us a message in social media. Leave us a note in the comment section. If you'd like to support this ministry, remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Again, God bless you and have a beautiful rest of your day.